I spent two and a half years designing a coat hanger. And I just can't stop thinking about it. Like I get so into it because I think it's so much fun. Take me to this two-year journey of the coat hanger. <laughs> the coat hanger. What? <laughs> like, how did it begin? How did it begin? It began with a corner in my home where I couldn't fit a coat rack. The thing is, I shouldn't have brought this up because I'm going to release it as a product probably in a year. Oh, an actual product. Mm -hmm. Okay. So well, that's a let's leave it as a mystery. It's a mystery. Yeah. But it's, it solves a fundamental problem in, in the human yes! condition. And I am so... So excited about it, and I cannot. I don't. The, yeah, but this is. I get so mm -hmm. pumped about it because I see it's just this issue or like this problem that I want to solve, and I I kind of can't put it to rest until I have. It's. I mean, speaking of coat hangers, um, doorknobs have always been interesting to me. It's cool how how there's things that everybody uses that somebody designed. Lex. Yeah. Oh my God. So, okay. So this is, I, so I have, I have two like big, so basically I started on YouTube and I'm, uh, been doing that for like the last seven or eight years. And I've kind of been thinking of like, okay, what's next for me? Cause I want to keep on trying out new things. And I've, I'm, I'm kind of going into two different avenues. One is the product business that I started Code Hingers, TBD. Um, and then I am working on a pilot episode of a show where each episode is about an everyday object and why oh, they look nice. the way that they do. So we've written a pilot episode about forks. And it's all about, like, why do they look the way that they do? That's why so did awesome. this became the, like, eating implement of the West? Why are we ruled by an iron fork? How did yeah. that happen? And every everyday object that you have and that you just take for granted, somebody just made it up. Yeah. We're all sheep. We all keep using it. Yeah. Even if it's not optimal. I mean, presumably most objects are optimal, you hope, or They're at least a local not. optimal. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I think is so like the world around us. And this is why I love building things is because it just opens up this idea that the world around us is so malleable mm -hmm. and you can make objects work for you better. Like I spent, I, I made this fruit bowl. I had a fruit bowl and I was always annoyed that I had either too little or too much fruit for it. So I made a fruit bowl where I can change the diameter of it. It has a mechanism so you can like make it bigger or smaller. And that's just like the thing of being like bowls. Why are they the way that they are? I yeah. can make them different. And I think like, I want to make an episode about doorknobs. I think it's so interesting. Why are they the way they are? Why are they placed the way where they are? I, what, I think that's going to be a rabbit hole from which you will never return. I would happily live in that rabbit hole forever. Like if I can, if I can like dig out a little niche for myself there, because I think it's like, you it, know, they go so deep. They're also on different sides of doors. You never like the push pull situation mm -hmm. on doors in general. Mm -hmm. Like that's one of the main problems of humanity is figuring push, out pull the doors. push pull, figuring <laughs> yeah. out which it is embarrassing. It's, it's yeah. just okay. How I many? There's eight billion people on people on Earth. Every single second, there is millions of people being embarrassed by the confusion of what real the push live pull. stats. Right now, there's lives. somebody, yeah. some guy, first time in college, he's trying to be impressive to everybody. He pushes on a. Mm -hmm. and, and he plays it off like it's cool. Oh, shit, I, I knew that. No, but over that's and, the over. Thing, and it affects our behaviors. That yeah. was why I think it's so interesting with forks is that forks actually affect our eating behaviors. Mm -hmm. And they can get you to eat faster or slower, take bigger bites or smaller bites. And there are all these ways or like the social. I mean, the reason that um, chopsticks work is because they do the food chopping in the kitchen rather than on the plate. And also you have a bowl that you bring to your mouth with, whereas a plate you keep on the, like there are just all these ways and these objects affect our behavior, opening and closing doors. And I think it's such an interesting take on culture through and like human behavior through these objects that we use every day and we never question them really. Yeah, and then there's institutions that are controlling our mind that don't want us to know the truth. Why are sporks not more popular? Have you asked yourself that question? Yeah, no, it's all big utensil is behind <laughs> all of it. 